Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different video and I actually had never seen this video before and I thought I had come up with something brilliant and then of course I go on YouTube to see if anyone else has done it and of course it's been done a billion times. So um, I'm going to be doing a, it's called the um, sample makeup challenge. I believe it's like what it's officially unofficially called and it's basically where you do your whole face of makeup using only samples. So I thought that would be a really fun thing to do. Like I said, I thought I came up with it but <laughs> I was not as brilliant to come up with it but um, I have, I'm a hoarder of samples. I don't know why I never use samples. I like want to keep them for like, I don't know, but I want to use up a lot of the stuff that I have and not hoard so much makeup. I counted, I have actually like over 30 little vials of like tester perfume. So I just kind of want to like use up stuff, even samples. I just I don't know why I'm such a hoarder of samples but um, I thought that this would be a fun video to try so I will get started and show you guys what products I'm using to create my look for today so the first product that I am using today is a sample from Urban Decay this is called the complexion um, priming potion so it's just like a little um, primer so and this one says brightening so hopefully hopefully there's enough for me to like actually use that's always my fear with like sample products is that I'll only have enough to do like half my face. So this is just like a, um, just kind of looks like a clear gel. So I'm just gonna use this to apply to my face. This doesn't feel like a, like a traditional, um, type of primer to me. It almost feels like a, um, like a gel, kind of like a moisturizer or something. Um, it doesn't have that super, um, slippery kind of, a uh, like silicone feeling that I'm used to with most primers. Um, the first sample I have is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD um, foundation. This one is in the color like marble, I think. There are two things I have. One I know is going to be way too dark. It's the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the color sand, and then also the color light beige. There was another color that was called vanilla, and that matched me the best, but I already used that one, so I might have to uh, kind of mix and see what I can do. Um, but one little tip that I had that I like to use um, darker makeup samples for, because obviously I don't have a dark enough complexion to wear that, I'll try to use them as um, like liquid contours, and like I'll contour my face as much as I can and kind of like blend it out and I really like the look of it so that's how I use darker um, foundation samples that I can't really otherwise use luckily I think I totally have enough to do my face with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD I think since it's been sitting for a while it kind of like really got all the product out of it so I'm gonna use this to do my foundation and I'm kind of like paranoid of like running out so I'm gonna kind of like dot it around my face first so I look like a crazy person and then I'm gonna blend it in just in case I don't get like half of my face done and then run out. And I actually don't have a concealer um, sample um, that I can use. I actually do have one. It was like a Bobbi Brown one, but it was so dark I could not <laughs> use that at all as a concealer. So I'm going to like really try to um, layer the foundation as much as I can to kind of get a little bit more coverage, um, especially since I have this like not good breakout. I'm just gonna try to like focus a lot of the foundation right on that spot and I'm gonna try to cover it up as best as I can. And again I'm gonna focus some of the extra foundation like right under my eyes because no concealer. And my eyes are like I have a little bit more discoloration today than usual because I stayed up really late last night and I um, finished all my finals today so I'm so excited um, that that is over with so it's very stressed so that's probably what's causing this in my um, under eye bags so like I said using a darker foundation this is one I'd already opened so I do kind of want to use it up and it is just a darker foundation color it's too dark for me I'll pull it a bit right there it's too dark for me so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it as like a liquid um, contour so I'm just gonna kind of put it here in the hollow of my cheeks and kind of like up around my hairline and I'm just gonna kind of blend it into the foundation that I'm already wearing and since I'm using not that much it kind of blends a lot better and it doesn't look super um, obvious that it's a too dark like foundation and something I wouldn't normally do um, but just for the fun of this video I'm gonna like do a little bit down the edges of my nose just to kind of like contour a bit 
All right, so that is it for the foundation and um, the uh, darker foundation using that as a contour. Now I do have a bit of a bronzer that I can also use. This is from another Urban Decay product. This is the um, Naked Flushed, I think. Yeah, Naked Flushed. And it's so convenient that I kept this because it is a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter all in one. So I'm really glad that I actually didn't use this up because it works great for this video. So I'm going to use those three products. So this is how the pretty much finished face looks. I'm actually like really impressed. This looks pretty good. Like pretty much like my uh, everyday normal kind of look all from using sample products. So that was really cool. And I've actually, I still have a ton of this um, Naked Flush. I kind of like put the little thing back on here. I can honestly use this another like at least another two times. So I'm gonna keep that and um, use that over the next couple days. So the next sample I have is actually like really convenient because I had just placed or I had just received a Sephora order and I got samples from it. And um, this is the Air Patrol by Benefit. First of all, I love the art style and everything of this. I love the color palette, I love it all. So this is supposed to be a BB cream eyelid primer. And luckily I have this because I didn't have any eyeshadow primer. Um, so this is a like skin tone kind of color. It's actually quite um, like yellow. Uh, for me and I think there's a lot of this I think I can also save this product um, and use this again so I'm gonna put a little bit of that on my eyes to prime them and the color turns out just fine it just kind of like blends into like skin color so it actually feels like um almost feels like it has like a really dry not dry but um like mattifying type of finish to the eye I actually kind of like it I have used the tiniest tiniest bit to prime my eyes. I feel like I could probably like, get like five more uses out of this sample, which I kind of want to do, but then again, I kind of don't want to do since it's a cream product and it's now like exposed to air. Um, but I got a lot in that sample, so I could honestly keep using this. So now that I have primed my eyes, I have, I didn't think I actually had any eyeshadow samples until I like really searched for them in my little sample, um, drawer and I actually found three options. So the three different options that I have, um, first is this Coastal Scents Revealed Palette Sampler. This one, it actually has, um, I actually showed this almost like probably like a year or so ago and I told, um, uh, in the video, you know, this little sampler has like a $5 gift certificate for a free full-sized Coastal Sense Reveal palette and I had just bought both of the ones that were currently um, available, but now they have a new one and no one ever, um, you know, asked for the code. I said, whoever the first person to comment that they want the code, I would message it to them and they can have $5 off if they want to buy that. And no one bought it or no one, uh, commented and asked for it. So I still have this. So I think I might use my code now and go buy the new um, palette. So the sample colors of here, it doesn't tell me any names, but they're all like really just like taupey brown colors. Like there's not a whole lot of variance between them, but I think I'll use it with um, another product. So I also have two other eyeshadow samples again from Coastal Scents and they are these little like um, quads which are very actually convenient for this video. Um, so let's see. This first set I have is called Set 7. It doesn't actually have like a name on it but the colors are Antique Lace, Wisteria, Lemon Chiffon, and Raspberry Tart. So it's very pinky um, and like a buttery shimmer yellow. And then the other sample that I have is called Sunday Fun Day and the colors are Mauve, Polar Bear, Viridian, and green and regalia purple so I don't know what color I want to use I think I'll primarily use this sample here also because it matches my background um, but I think I might have to use like a tiny bit of like this darkest color here to kind of blend and make it look okay but for the most part I think I'll try to use this um, little set here so I'm going to use this color here this one is called wisteria and I'm just gonna go for it and like apply this all over my lid Whoa, this is actually like pig really pigmented. Wow, I can't even speak. I am like actually in awe right now. Like I know Coastal Sense eyeshadows are good because I love their hot pot so, so much. But I was not expecting it from these little sample um, packs. So <laughs> I have like really, really bright eyeshadow now. So now I'm gonna use this color here. This one is called Raspberry Tart and I'm going to apply this with a pencil brush and I'm gonna be a little bit more careful this time now that I'm kind of uh, 
accustomed to the colors and I'm just gonna put this in the crease and uh, kind of just blend that so now I'm gonna take this color here like I said there's no names in this one so I don't know what the name of this color is um, but it is the only matte color I have out of like all of these colors here the only one that's dark enough so um, I'm just gonna use that with my pencil brush and I'm gonna kind of put a little bit more of that in the crease here just to kind of like mattify all the shimmer and then going back with that darkest color here the tart color raspberry tart I'm going to apply that to the outer corner and blend that inward to where we put the lighter color. So the next sample I'm actually a little apprehensive about using because I've never used it before, but it is my only option. Um, and this is going to be my um, eyeliner. So this is the Benefit Their Real push-up liner. And um, I, like I said, I've never used this before. So wish me luck. Hmm. I like the actual like formula of the product, but I don't know about this applicator. Eek! Oh, I'm really struggling with this. Like, okay, so if I do it on my hand, like it obviously like perfect, works great. It doesn't work so great on the eye, um, and I'm you know, a like hardcore liquid eyeliner user. So gel liner is a, it's a bit tougher for me. So I pretty much got it as best as I could on this side. Um, it's still not as good as I would like it to be. Um, this side, I just, I can't mess with this anymore and I'm about to rip my hair out. So this is how much product I dispense to try to um, get this on my eyes. And I like the actual consistency of the gel itself like if this was in a pot I think it would be fine but something with the applicator it, I don't know just it does not work that great for me like it would squeeze I'd squeeze too much out and I would try to like kind of like wipe it off and kind of like dip it in like as almost like a a nib into ink and trying to like put I just I can't so unfortunately um that was a bit of a bust I'm gonna like just kind of fix it as minorly as I can with some liquid eyeliner. I'm gonna do like a bit of a wing, but I can't leave my eyeliner like this. All right, so I do apologize for cheating a bit, but there was no way I was going to make this work for me. Um, if you guys like use this and love it, how does it work for you? How do you do it? Because I know my sister-in-law loves this stuff. She says it's her favorite for eyeliner and I just, don't understand so please let me know how you make it work if um, if you use and love this so for my mascara I actually have two samples and I actually like using these layered together first is the benefit roller lash and then the second is the Too Faced better than sex mascara so I'm gonna use those I like to use the roller lash first because it has that kind of like scooped where's that like scooped kind of um a uh, curl shaped like wand I guess so I like to kind of use that one first to kind of um, like lift the lashes and then I like to go back and apply the better than sex mascara so I'm gonna use this lipstick sample because one I already opened it and I want to like use it before it like actually gets gross um, I can't remember the name of the color but it was an Estee Lauder lipstick and it came in a pack of four I got it from Sephora I'm sure I showed it in one of my haul videos um, but I just can't remember what the color name is it might have been like something rose but that's very generic so um, it's just like a uh, very standard generic pink color but I just want to use that because it's what I have open and um, I want something a little more toned down since my eyes are kind of uh, out there I'm even using the teeny tiny little brush it came with too so I must say the little brush is crap And so this is the lip color and it actually like works out pretty well for this um, look because I do have very bright um, out there kind of eyeshadow color so I think it works pretty well. So the only thing that I um, do not have like a sample of uh, that I would typically use is like eyebrow product. Um, I don't really have that, you know, bare of eyebrows but um, I would typically 
um, you know, use my eyebrow product. My favorite is the NYX um, Eyebrow Gel in the color Blonde. Um, however, I don't want to cheat twice in this video, so I'm just going to go without it for now. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram. Link is below. Until my next video, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.